I've just wandered down to the site of Mario's workplace. We have got a lot of water collecting down here already, which isn't ideal, but John's been digging away. And I think we may have found something quite exciting. If this is what we think it is. We could be in with a winner. <laughs> Helping Mario, yeah, good for you, Crusoe. Okay, we better go and tell Mario kind of what we want. Okay. Yeah, what did you bring for Dad? Oh, you got me some peas. Thanks, this, buddy. everybody, is our first harvest. And it is delicious. Mm, very sweet. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm honest, Mario kind of snuck up on us this morning because he arrived half an hour early. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get to fill you in on what the plan is, really. Yeah. But if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that we've had, like, on and off constant water problems. And last summer, rather concerningly, or very concerningly, we ran out of water on the farm. It was a very hot summer last year, but our water usage was also really low because we weren't actually growing anything on the farm. So a huge priority is to try and sort out some kind of water storage. Now, on our lowest terrace, we have an overflow from the spring. And there's a pipe that just pours water onto the land. So instead of that just disappearing, we are going to dig, that's what Mario's doing today, dig a big pond, which is also going to act as our long-awaited wild swimming pool. Totally understand that by digging a hole in the ground and pouring water into it, that means that we are basically taking water away from other ecosystems a little bit further down. But it is going to be a very temporary thing because ultimately the plan is to basically fill up this pond that we're going to dig mm -hmm. and then let the overflow continue being an overflow whenever it needs to be an overflow. Yeah. And below us is just a little bit of forest before we get to vineyards and things. So we're not like um, affecting the course of a river or a stream or there's no one below us relying on that water. It literally just falls into the forest and disappears into the ground. Mm, mm. So rather than have that, I think, you know, it's like John says, some sort of storage unit on the way past. Yeah. Makes yeah. a lot of sense for us and our family and the, and the kind of longevity of the farm. Absolutely. So. It's that or we have to dig a borehole and, you know, boreholes, well, we think they require licenses. We haven't really looked into it. And the second thing about a borehole is the reason why they require a license is basically because you start drilling down into into the land and sucking water out that water affects a whole big area of uh, of, of where it's being being taken from so um of course you'd need a license for that anyway here we are digging a pond brilliant <laughs>
in case you see two folk in the background who you don't recognize, we have my mum and dad here from Zimbabwe at the moment and it has been the most special time to have them here. But it also feels quite serendipitous because the first problems we had on the farm with water was to do with an airlock after we installed our outdoor shower. And it was thanks to a phone call back to my dad in Zim that we were able to figure out how to solve the problem. He spent his entire life farming so he's absolutely loved being here with us and helping us. And it just feels really, I don't know, like I say, serendipitous that he's here on the day that we start the biggest kind of water solution and water storage project on the farm so far. Pretty cool. I love it when stuff happens like that. Come on. Give mommy's hand. Mommy's doing this I was digging a ramp. Wanna go see? So if you look down here, this is our lowest terrace. Up there is the vegetable garden. And there is the overflow water pipe, which we're hoping is going to fill a pond down here on the lowest half of this terrace. Fingers crossed. And there you have it. Mario has arrived, which is great news. That took about half an hour to get here. Just uh, finding his way through the brush. We can get on with the project now. Pretty technical drawings going on down here in the mud. We just draw a sort of a kidney bean type shaped pond. It's quite large. Talk about piling up the mud around that comes out around the back here. Um, and we'll see what Mario comes up with. But he's he's an artist, so you know, we know what he can do. Big puddle here soon, buddy. Mario's making a big puddle. breaking ground. <laughs> Do you know, as a kid, I grew up on a farm in Zimbabwe. And over the years, my dad built a few dams. Kind of reminds me of that. We'd have all this like excavation equipment come in. They'd build this enormous dam and it was mega exciting waiting for it to fill up. Obviously those were like huge commercial project dams. So a lot bigger than what we're doing. I think we must have had like six or seven diggers and tipper trucks and everything. <laughs> really? So this is a bit... Uh... It's a bit puny. But anyway, you know, nostalgia kicks in. leaving Crusoe and uh, Tara to watch Mario do his business. There's something very exciting about digging big holes. I know where Crusoe gets it from now. He's just absolutely enthralled. Dig big hole. That's what he says every morning when I say, what are we going to do today, Crusoe? Dig big hole. Here we are digging a gigantic hole. And I finally realise what a two-year-old has got to, to say about a big, big hole. Anyway, I'm going to time lapse it for you guys so we can watch Mario dig a big, big hole. Here we go.
are our broad beans and we have an aphid problem. Okay. The Crusoe is helping me spray some soapy water on it. All right, that's what, get it under control. that's what you're doing when I'm down there digging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, watching the digging anyway. More water? We've got to water the greenhouse next, my boy. I mean, I know the kind of permaculture way of doing this would be to get ladybirds onto the aphids because ladybirds eat aphids rather than soapy water. But where do you get ladybirds from? And how do you attract ladybirds to your garden to come and do this work for you rather than using something artificial? Good question. All the things I'd love to know um, and we'll get round to learning about in time. Comments below. Comments below though. Please, anybody who's got any tips on managing aphids. We've made some quite epic progress in this vegetable garden. We haven't been filming all of it. And to be honest, it's actually just been really nice just to do for a bit and kind of I'm sorry we haven't documented it all and every step, but what I've been loving is kind of coming out and just getting on with stuff and, you know, I don't know, getting things moving. So we planted carrots, we planted baby cucumbers, we've got red beans, white beans, potatoes, lettuce, watermelons, melons, patty pans, beetroots, cauliflowers, the broccoli, cabbages, peas are starting to grow. My next job is to harvest some of our onions and I want to make some pickled onions because they're at the perfect size for some pickled onions. We also planted 140 new onions so we're gonna hopefully, I want to set one wall in the Adega up as a kind of storage space for all the things that we're gonna grow because I have been told by people in the know that our vegetable garden is enormous and we are going to be drowning in produce. So going to have to be very smart about storage and usage. Um, I think Crusoe's done something naughty. Okay, why? What's that, Bob? He's got a label from somewhere, mm -hmm. which is unhelpful because I already have no idea what 90% of the stuff Did is. Did you hear a crash in the greenhouse just a moment ago? No, I didn't. Yeah. What have you done, buddy? nothing that's good he's just nicked a label that's all what's that buddy where did you get that from this. yeah where did it come from is it that one no. where did it come from there, right there, right there. Yeah. are you sure yeah. yes, <clears throat> I think it didn't I think, buddy, it came from. What does it say? Red I'll flowers. be standing right right there. There. So, tomatoes are looking ready to go out, aren't they? But I was wondering, do you think it's bad to move tomatoes when they're flowering? I mean, that sounds like a really. I don't know the answer to that. Do you think it's a relevant question? I don't even know yet whether that's a question that I would have even considered. So it might be a relevant question. The other day, a couple of weeks ago, I bought these like um, tapes with wildflower seeds and I was putting them in this bed and John was going, don't do that, but anyway, we did it. And then I said to John, I think I need to go and weed, there's so many weeds in that flower bed and then he reminded me that it's my wildflowers. They do look really messy at the moment, but I'm excited to see what it looks like when they all kind of get big and start flowering. I think the key giveaway on that one is, is in the name. 
wild. Mm -hmm. Again, 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 again. All righty, more water we need. Standing up here watching Mario do his work, which is really cool to watch. Just noticed that there's another spring down there. It's coming down into the, the place where he's been digging. So hopefully that means we've just found some more water that's gonna help fill that pond. Brilliant news, really, really brilliant news. Whoa, that is a big hole. Jeepers, you've done loads. Crusoe, what do you think? Darling, we have a dam. What do you think, Crusoe? Is that yeah. the biggest hole ever? Hey, that's a big, big hole, isn't it? All right, well, that looks like Mario's done for the day. Um, he's left a big hole there in the ground. It's starting to look really fab. Um, I'm so excited to see um, how this progresses and whether we can put clay on the walls or whether it's just a, a vinyl plastic type sheet that we put in there for now just to store the water for this summer while we get a little bit more organised. One thing's for certain though, this is going to be really needed when July and August come around and we start to run out of water from the spring. So, I've just wandered down to the site of Mario's workplace. We have got a lot of water collecting down here already, which isn't ideal because we still need to line the pond. But John's been digging away, and I think we may have found something quite exciting. As we've mentioned, we've had water trouble on the farm when we ran out of water last summer. So if this is what we think it is, we could be in with a winner. What have you found, boys? Look at this. That is very wet. And that is a hole in a wall. That's very, very wet. And that's a definite hole in the wall. And it's flowing quite a lot down there, isn't it? Yeah, if you look here, here is the, so directly underneath this hole in the wall, I think the water is soaking into the ground. Yeah. What does that mean? It just so um, soaked. And it's coming out that, here, because obviously, Crusoe knows exactly <laughs> what's going on. Hey, buddy. Um, I think what's happening is the water's natural flow is through that way there. Yeah. Um, and gravity's taking it down to the lowest available exit point. Yeah. Which currently is here. Okay. Um, if we dug lower, yeah. which we will, um, then that natural exit point would be even lower. And it's in just, the... Uh, it's just going there. So we've got a problem with that a little bit. Um, and that problem is that... It's, it's quite a lot of water flowing through there. Okay. And if we're going to put a rubber membrane here, we don't want that water flowing on Beneath the other the side membrane. of the membrane. Okay. And if we put a clay membrane here, we, we're undecided at the moment which way forward we're going to go on that. If we put clay here, um, then it's just going to break the clay. Okay. So... Okay. So really what we need to do is we need to find where that water is coming from. Okay. And make it so it doesn't go down into the ground. Oh right, okay. Make it so that it flows across the top of the ground. 
and into the top of the pond. Okie dokie. Well, that sounds like For those of you keep... saying that the, the, the clay membrane, uh, the clay walls might be a little bit tricky because they are steep, that's it, you, you'd be quite right. It is steep walls, but I was thinking maybe we could use a sort of a crisscross mesh with holes in it like this. Pin it to the Daddy. wall, a couple of inches Help. thick. Go on then. Um, and then clay, uh, and then um, make the wall like that. But, cool. Well, we'll see. That's what I'm right, anyway, for now. It's a great slide for a toddler. It's a great slide for a toddler. And look, here we go. Ow, ow. You can see here, look, this is ow, great. Ow, mommy. The Hang on, baby. Is, the water's flowing and it's collecting here. It's, look, come and look closer. You can see we've got flowing water right here. So this is definitely the source. Good luck, darling. Let me show. Look at that, soaking wet. Love it. Yeah, that is a lot of water, isn't it? On a farm where all the water you can get is a bonus, that is a real bonus. Look at that, we've been here almost a year and we're still discovering things. Isn't that fantastic? Is it your phone, is it? Are you going to take pictures? Okay, come on then. Are you going to film? Are you going to film Papa? Are you going to film Daddy? What are you going to film? You're going to film in there, eh? Wow, that's a great yeah. piece of film, Crusoe. Look how many notes. Yeah, love it. Come, come and look at all this. This is mega. Cheers! Yeah. <laughs> well done, Crusoe. Big hole. Yeah. Just don't drop the phone. Can you see this? What is it? Look. Oh, look. Oh, mud. Look. There's puddles there. That's fantastic. So we've basically just found another water source on we, our land. We have, yeah. We have. And the cool thing is actually. Coincidentally, I think Brady has found a, a spring on his land too. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Yeah, in, um, in, in the Raising Voyages. So, um, oh, sorry, Lisa. Let's just try and dig this out and see how far back. But the cool thing is right now, if I put a stone there and a pipe on top of that stone, it would stop the water going down into the land. And I think we'd be able to have it out the top. Great. We're getting quite deep back here now. And it's becoming clearer that actually somebody has built it to be like this. Look at that. Look, I got it. I got a waterfall. Look <laughs> That's at that. so cool. Yes, all that water. I am so delighted. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Check that. Look. Full flow, man. You definitely find enough. <laughs> well done, love. Look at it. Wow, that's a now you, flow. Yeah, you better really pipe it because it's going to fill that pond quicker than it was, isn't it? Wow. Look at that, Crusoe. Wow. The water's coming out, isn't it? Oh, my phone. Do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give Brady a quick call and find out who's his bigger. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at that flow now. The further back I dig, the more, more flow we get. We got more water. We got more water, hey? Now all we want to do is somehow put a, literally put a piece of stone there I mean, collect the water and pipe it straight down. That's so cool, man. Yes, it is. Water oh, coming out. Water coming out, hey. Do you know what is super cool is that we've kind of got to the point with this property where we sort of have mapped everything out and we sort of 
It starts to feel like you know the whole place, but when there's still kind of discoveries being made like this, it just makes it feel like there's, I don't know. You've got a proper flow going on in there. That's fab. Okay, so I think, I think I've got a stone bottom in there as well. You know, if we dig it out a little bit deeper, I think we're gonna hit rock. It would, it would be strange to think that somebody's gone to all the effort of building this um, and not actually made sure it's got a stone bottom. So I'm just gonna dig down as deep as I can get. There we go, that's stone. This is a mucky old job, but I gotta tell you, I think it's one of the most exciting jobs we've had on the farm ever. Brilliant. Okay, so I've just dug a channel to get rid of the water. And okay, there's been a bit of a backlog there, but that's still a pretty good stream there. Love it. Wow. A very good find. Two really exciting things have happened. We found a second spring on this piece of, uh, on this on this particular field. So that's going to help keep the the pond all topped up um and also it just looks like it belongs here there's this kind of notion that it just fits and mario's always so good at doing things like that he comes along with his digger and just starts digging and things start to look you know good great in fact really pleased so we'll carry on with this project next time mario turns up that could be tomorrow or it could be next week in the meantime, we'll keep an eye on that spring and see how well that water keeps coming in. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just wait. While we wait, Crusoe has decided that he's gonna try his very hardest to finish the job. <laughs> <laughs>